G'day guys, it's just on dark, absolute cracker of an afternoon. Let's go out and see if we can nail one of these wild dogs. It's a great little spot out here. I'm on a little bit of a saddle and I've got a nice hillside up above me. Down onto a creek that bends right around behind me that's got a fair bit of water in it. and Generally animals don't like to try and cross that. And I've been told that the dogs do come through this edge of the hillside. And they'll always cross through a gateway or something like that. They're a bit lazy. They're funny animals. But yeah, I've been up here for a little while on the dog sounds and stuff. No luck at all. I've upset every local dog. They're all barking and carrying on, but no wild dogs howling back yet. It's uber quiet out here tonight. I've tried all the dog howls, heap of different noises, walked around a bit, can't see anything. I did spot a fox way over in the neighbour's place, so probably hear the call going in the background. We'll see if I can pull him over the right side of the fence. Give him a little bit of a feed. So at least I found a fox to shoot. Check this out. That's a start. when he's ready. Here's one of the negatives of walking around as the weather warms up in the dark with the dull red headlight. These fellas webs up everywhere tonight. I've certainly bumped through plenty of them. This would be one of the bigger specimens I've seen. He's only about probably as big as my thumbnail at the moment. As it warms up they'll just get bigger and bigger. A lot of the time they get their webs knocked down each night they just build them back up the next night. They're pretty uh, persistent critters these spiders. Well, there's something unusual. Just run the Vixen in heat call, just to mix it up. I've just had a fox come completely up my scent line into about 40 metres and sit in the grass. I've been looking completely the other way and I've just happened to turn around and check behind myself, as you should every now and then. And yeah, this dopey bugger was sitting there. Check it out. What started as a slow night on the wild dogs not working out too bad so far on the foxes, so another win for the architect. I won't show this guy's head too much because, as you probably saw in the shot placement, it's a bit messy what you can't see. And this fella's got a little bit of mange, and I don't like mucking around with those guys at the best of times, let alone without putting gloves and stuff on. And frankly, I couldn't be bothered doing that at the moment. Let's go and set up somewhere else. You can probably see there a little bit of a pad. There's plenty of livestock that comes through here with the cattle. But the wild dogs also come through here, so as you can see by the bark under that trail camera strap, that guy's been in there a little while, so I'll pull the SD card. If there's any good footage on it, I'll chuck it in the video. It's been really quiet for about the past hour. Move that trail camera. I've also set up in another two spots with the caller. No luck. Uh, I thought there might have been a fox over here on this timber edge about 200 metres away. Uh, the plovers seem to be reasonably excited periodically over there, and that can mean fox about but nothing's come out of the caller anyway so what I'm going to do is wander down across this big flat go round the creek line see if I can pick up some foxes there if no luck I'll wander back up to the car Only small block hunting at night so I won't complain about two foxes out here I've fair hammered this place over the last 12 or 18 months so good outcome happy farmer no wild dogs if you did like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel have a look at my patreon there's a little bit of extra content in there floating around and i'll see everyone next time